What's up everybody, NFX here with another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about how to install an FL Studio 9 skin. Um, the process is basically the same for FL Studio 8. So uh, this tutorial should work in either one, but I'm going to demonstrate this with FL Studio 9. Um, the reason why I'm doing this tutorial is because we're happy at, here at Warbeats to release a um, a skin that's been branded with the Warbeats um, logo and name that takes after a uh, a skin by Jared from Defect 9 Studios. Uh, he created the skin for us and uh, it's a very nice skin. Um, he has some other skins available and if you like the skin that you're going to see me install today uh, please uh, please be sure to check out uh, the other skin skins that Jared has over at the Flipside Forum shop. Uh, the Flipside Forum is a, another FL Studio based uh, forum that you can go to. It's a very good place to go, good information, very good people there. Uh, I believe it's less of a hip-hop crowd over there, so uh, you know if you're into uh, other styles of music you might find some help there that you won't find at Warbeats because Warbeats as you know is uh, kind of dominated by a more of a hip hop crowd, uh, but anyway, the uh, the way you're going to install a skin is by downloading the uh, the skin file for the version of FL Studio. Uh, in this case, I'm downloading it for I've downloaded it for FL Nine, and then you can also install some wallpapers. Wallpapers are are like what go on the desktop of FL Studio. So I've also downloaded the wallpapers file. Now you want to make sure before you start installing your skin that you do not have FL Studio running. If you do this while FL Studio is running, it's probably not going to see the new skin, and it's gonna and you're gonna to have to restart FL Studio for it to see it anyway. So it just makes sense to remember just to exit FL Studio so that when you start it up, it's ready to go. Okay, now what you need to know. Uh, is where your FL Studio is installed to. In my case, you can see on the screen, I'm installed into M Apps FL Studio 9. Now, most of you out there are probably going to be installed on your C drive, program files, and then FL Studio 9. Um, but you're going to have to know where you're at. Uh, this is very important in order for you to copy the files into the correct location. If you're not sure, you can always check your FL Studio 9 shortcut and uh, you, can, uh, you can go to it and in Vista you can just highlight it like this and hover over it and it'll tell you the location. Um, but if it doesn't do that or you have XP or some other version of Windows, you can right click, go to Properties and then the Properties will come up and will tell you where it's installed. And you can see on the screen there, it's telling me it's installed in M Apps FL Studio 9. Okay, so once you've figured out where you're installed, you can open that up in your Windows Explorer. And you can see within the FL Studio 9, there's some subfolders in here artwork, data help, plugins, etc. We're going to go into artwork. And then in artwork, you can see there's one for skins and one for wallpapers. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and install the wallpapers first. Uh, I'm going to go to the file I downloaded called wallpapers and open that up. And you can see when I open it up, it has a folder called wallpapers. Now that's very convenient because what I can do is I can just drag that wallpaper folder directly into my FL Studio 9 artwork folder. Okay. If for some reason you open up the zip file and you just see a bunch of JPEGs or, P or PNG files in there, uh, then you will have to go into your wallpaper directory, FL Studio 9 artwork wallpapers, go into it, and then you can copy these files in there. Now, the way I do it is I just highlight them and drag them over, drop them in, and it puts them in there for me. Okay. 
So that's uh, that's that's pretty much it. That's how you get the wallpapers in there. Now the skins are pretty much the same way. Now if we go into the skins folder, you can see that the skins must be in their own named folder inside of skins. So when I open up the Warbeats uh, FL9 file and bring that into view, you'll see that it, it has here, uh, again, a folder called Warbeats FL9. If, for some reason, your skin does not have a folder level and you just see these, the, the files there, you're going to have to create the folder in FL Studio 9 Artwork Skins and then place the items in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, highlight everything. Drag it over. Drop it in. Let it do its business. And that will take a few seconds to finish. And then I'm done. And now I can start FL Studio 9. Okay, so now I'm in FL Studio 9, but you can see obviously that uh, that it looks pretty much the same because I haven't changed my skin yet. So now what I'm going to do is in order to change the wallpaper, in other words, this stuff that's back here, you're going to go to View, Background, Set Bitmap Wallpaper. When you do that, the wallpaper folder is going to open up and you're going to see these tiny little previews of the various wallpapers. Now you can see on your screen, these are the Warbeats based ones here. But if I scroll down, I can see also the, uh, the various um, FL Studio ones. Okay, but I'm going, to put, I'm going to put one that I like from the uh, Warbeats skin. And in the Warbeats skin, it's, we have them also in different resolutions. So we have like 1280. That means it's 1280 pixels wide. So if you know what your resolution is, pick the one that's closest to it. On my screen, I run at 1680. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and select one of these at 1680, like that. And let me just uh, bring this down. You can see, for example, there's my background now. Okay. Now let's change the skin. Now to change the skin, you're going to go to Options, General Settings. When the General Settings window appears, down at the, uh, in the general section at the bottom, you can see it says Skin Default. We're going to bring that down and select Warbeats FL9, which should be there. And you can see the toolbar looks different. The pattern window looks different. Uh, let me go ahead and just load a test project. And you can see, um, you know, the step sequencer looks different. It's got some zipped up channels here, but you can see that that looks different. I can bring up the piano roll. The piano roll looks a little bit different. It's got the different colored uh, icons and whatnot. Uh, I could bring up other things like the uh, uh, the mixer. The mixer has a slightly different look to it, and the LED bars, the... Uh, the VU bars or whatever these are called here uh, have, a, have a different look. And you can see the toolbar obviously has a much different look. Um, let's turn the volume down. Let's see. Uh, we can just play this and see the uh, meters in action. So there you go. Now you know how to pimp out your FL Studio, make it look different, give it a little personality. And like I said, uh, I demoed this using the uh, the new Warbeat skin, uh, but you can um, you can get a bunch of skins online. Uh, the Flipside Forum is probably a good place to go ask about that. They do have some for sale there, reasonable prices. Uh, if you like the skin, you know, you should go ahead and buy one. The Warbeat skin is going to be for VIPs only. The backgrounds will be available for everybody. Um, 
and uh, that's all there is to it. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys in the next one.